Hi, welcome on this Qtile. There is a question on the forum and it's about uh, loading up an uh, Arch Linux D ISO built yourself with KVM. I don't think I've made a video about KVM. So what is that? KVM Linux. It's um, a page we can go and have a look at. So the kernel virtual machine and it has uh, all kinds of menus you can look at and at some point in time you say I want to go and download this thing and then um, it says basically well go get it in your Linux distro in your own way of packaging in your packaging systems. Okay so at um, github from Eric Dubois you'll find something there and you'll see that there are many repositories there but there is one specific for Arch Linux Nemesis and in here we have AUR scripts and the AUR scripts we can find lots of things to install so once you figure out hey I know now how to install a particular package I put it in uh, the system here in this uh, well extended memory if you want so you can have a free github account and everything that you want to keep for later and reuse you put it in a script like this one so it's going to install kimu kimu i don't know really how to pronounce it but a virtual machine and as you can see it has a lot of things to remember you have to need this you need that you have to enable something there are options you have to do this so uh, lots of things but once everything is set up you can forget about it it's set up so if you want to get this, then we should get the Arch Linux Nemesis script, which is easy to get. You can clone it or you can download it. The difference between cloning, if I clone it, I can correct it and push it back up. If you zip it, your intention is not to actually change my GitHub, of course not. So the download zip is something you probably will do. And then you go to the show in the folder. Well, um, by the way, so Qtile is a um, SSD that's now in my machine here, but it really doesn't matter what you're uh, working on. Um, it's just an application. Firefox will work. I'm gonna test this one out later, maybe if I have time. But this guy, so extract here. All right, and in here we have the AUR. So in here we're gonna say right mouse click open terminal and install me this package let's have a look at the name again what with a Q or oh, how did it start Q right with a Q and then we just say run everything install everything so it's quite a bit of uh, software that's coming down it seems I've been doing that uh, well a few months ago I don't know we can actually see how long ago I made this thing 20 days ago. <laughs> I thought it was longer ago. All right, anyway. Um, no, I know why it says 20 days ago. I made something about the EID, which is our passport in, in uh, Belgium that we can use for uh, going into government websites and all that. So an official way to be Eric Dubois. And um, I probably have changed something about for that. So everything is created, system, sim logs, uh, system D things. And then what's your login? It will be used to add this user to two different groups. Okay, fine, just go ahead. My name is Eric and everything is changed. And then it says run this code in the terminal to get your network up and running after reboot. Okay, so I need to do this thing. It seems I'm gonna do it anyway now. I hope I don't have to reboot. Um, but um, we'll see. So I have installed something, right? Okay. We, if you wonder what this is red, by the way. So okay, let's update at the same time. So just a few things, fine, and that's up to date. There's no scal anywhere, so I don't need to press scal. There's no no message from the packages telling we have installed something in etc scal. So that's the go 
as the sign that you need to type scale. Copy paste those things in your home directory, not needed. I can test out if uh, AORs uh, need of update, only one package that's not um, yet up to date. It means that somebody set told to this maintainer, look, there is already a new version online, please update the script. But that's not us, that's Arch user repository. So we just wait, be patient. All right, um, so I wanted to show you what did change, what changed, what changed. Let's get rid of everything. And we go to here, for instance, and cue you what happened with this thing. What is this thing? All right, so double click, dependencies, interesting, but not needed to know. And here we are some applications that we uh, say, okay, so this is all new, these applications, user lib, that's a library, but user bin, that's an application. So these things are new, all right? And here's the QMU desktop, so that's the application uh, that's uh, well, the desktop file that's in the user share applications. So, Control T or or Super F12 doesn't matter. Or or your Start button if you're on a desktop environment. That's not the Tiling Window Manager, right? But something with Q really. And we have here lots of things. QMU, all right. There's also a virtual thing, and that's. Um, Virtual Manager, I believe it's called. So if you're not running on, on VirtualBox, you need to figure out how this works, of course. This is something new. And we have local install media, all right, forward, not selected, true. Let's get you something, my friend. Um, do I have something? Good question. Going to my second screen. So Workspace 2, this one, going have a look do I have something in my hard disk already? Get started, Arch Linux, Control H, this can go. So I'm actually gonna need an, um, gonna need an ISO. So I'm gonna start my syncer for Google uh, Drive. And he's now up here. He's trying to sync here. I'm gonna say that I want to have a look at my syncing. I want to have the shared folder open, Arch Linux 18, and I would like to have the Arch Linux D ISO. So sync and open, click, and this particular ISO that's on my Google Drive is now being downloaded to my machine, so I can load it up in my virtual machine. So that's how you do it. You don't need to sync everything every time. Just get what you want from your Google Drive at the point you need it and we wait for it to be there. You see this little sign, so you know how much is already down there. This means you can go and get it. So super Q to kill these uh, windows. And then we have a ISO. So default system, okay, browse local. So in sync, in sync, in sync. There is now a shared, an Arch Linux 18 and this guy is a little bit off the screen. So I'm pressing super key here and I'm dragging it back to here. Okay, forward. You can't find the you're looking for. Blah, blah, blah. Um, choose operating system you're installing. Automatically detect. So it doesn't know it. Okay, fine. Arch Linux then. Forward. The emulator may not have search permissions for the path. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to write this now? Yes, okay. The memory, 50-50. Mm, oh, that takes too long. So what about eight? CPUs, that's one, but is it cores that he wants to know or CPUs? Because CPUs is correct and cores should be eight. We'll see. Create a hard disk, what about 20? Forward, ready to begin the installation. Yeah, forget about that. Oh, I can't type anymore. This is it. Oh, I can type. Now it's that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Customize configuration before install. Sounds good. Virtual network is OK. Finish. Done. So we're booting up. Let's kill some stuff. So don't want this. And this we can change. Let's see if I can do that. OK. Boot. Control F. Let's see if that works. Nope. That's a virtual box keyboard shortcut. Not working here. View. Full screen, that's a button. Let's see first if everything works. Erkenlink is the installer. So, a bit strange, really. It's anyway a good version. It's okay. Next. So, the network is not on, meaning I should reboot to get my network on, but since this is a video and no swap remember this version of, Ar of uh, calamaris so that's not ours we use calamaris project to put our arc linux on the hard disk or virtual box if you are going to change things in here remember not to, to to set it here so this guy needs to be on master boot record otherwise you don't boot and it won't will be a fail the installation so that's that this is the D version so let's move this guy over to so this is workspace uh, 9 I believe right so if you start counting so this one and I could say this guy so this guy is uh, now um, blue blue line so focused so this guy is now focused I could say super shift 3 so that's moved away and it's on workspace 3 so I have more place for this particular screen I'm gonna try out the view now to the full screen see if that works <coughs> but I don't know the shortcut again to get it back on so this is really a try for me because this is of course a Q tile system Escape is not getting it back. Control F is not a shortcut. He understands. So I guess I'm stuck at this full screen now. There will be a shortcut somehow to get back to a minimal. Nope, nope, nope. Aha, I've got something. So leaves full screen. It's a little thing up here. I'm feeling better with this. My mouse is much more responsive than in a full screen. Now everything feels better. Anyway, he's almost finished. This is the smallest uh, ISO we, we have, I believe. The Arc Linux D version is one without desktops, without, without software, really. So it's just a basic Arch Linux slash Arc Linux thing. And um, it's, it's a little bit more than an Arch Linux thing because we have put things on there so it will work on any hardware and when you do an Arch Linux installation it will just include stuff you need on your computer that's the big difference so there we go we have Arch Linux D and now it's just having fun and I say okay what do I want to have let's have a look what can we install on Arch Linux D let's do, go for and control alt uh, Vivaldi uh, bad choice all my tabs go open close other tabs and then you go to arcolinuxd.com and you say what kind of desktop do you like I like XFC Box i3 I like uh, awesome VSPWM Budgie Cinnamon Deeping Gnome Qtile Xmonad those are the choices you'll have to make and it's always the same thing um, let's take Mate I haven't taken it for a while so Mate you go to the installation of Arch Linux Mate and then you see that you have to clone something so you have to do this copy and um, you have to copy paste that in your terminal in Arch Linux D because well I, we can't copy paste but we can type of course because this thing is always going to be the same this line is so easy to remember and this line is always Arco and then it comes XFCE i3 plasma 
Xmonad, BSBWM. So it just changes and but everything this is always the same. Okay. So if you want to install something and try it out, you say okay, let's git clone something from GitHub. And it's the Arduino XD project that we're working on. Fine. And then we're going to decide the desktop. So update it is. You get it. And you say, what do I get? I get a folder, CD, inside a folder, ls, and they have all the scripts. And let's see how many cores I have. It doesn't really say, I do not know how many cores you have. Yeah, so it's this, it's this QMU probably set it to one core or something, I don't know. So this will not work, um, but the rest should. So 100 display manager and desktop. And I've chosen this particular desktop because it installs immediately Mate with it. So we can actually quite easily and, and rapidly see something. New kernel comes in 514. So this is what you get if you have an Arcon XD. It's an old black screen. It's a terminal kind of thing. It shouldn't scare you. The terminal is actually Linux, everything else, the GUIs and all that is changing things in those files, is using the commands behind it after the GUI starts a command that changes a file with a setting you've selected in the GUI. So it shouldn't really be bothering you to uh, use it. I do see I, the Inkscape is installed. That's strange. It's not part of uh, Mate desktop, which is a bit lower. Kaha is part of it, fine. And all the Mate stuff comes in, you see? Mate session manager, Mate teams, etc. etc. All the Kaha things. So Kaha, if you don't know, it's a file manager, it's Tunar, it's Nautilus, it's uh, Nemo, it's Dolphin. It's just a file manager specific to Mate. Samba is there as well. So all these things are already part of the package Mate. So Mate is, is the, the Mate command that in, in the script here is actually telling to install all this stuff. Um, yeah, I think we can sudo root. Let's have a try. So it, it's getting not just Mate, but it's getting all kinds of dependencies, what they call, of course, dependency, what they want to have on that machine. So there's a tutorial, by the way, how to get rid of the dynamic user, but just install account service and it will be gone. And there we have our element. Don't show this, don't care. And we have here our system. So we have our Mate. This is the look you get with when you install Arch Linux Mate. This is the same look without any tweaking that you get on phase five, Arch Linux phase five, get your Mate thing. So if you don't use any of our tweaking and theming and, and things like that, that we have our on our Arco Linux repo, this is the look, which is okay, if it's okay for you. But uh, we'd like to have something, something more really. So we have a displays, maybe we can set something here. Don't see, don't think we, we should figure out how to do that in this system. That's out of the scope of the video. I just wanted to show you um, how it's, um, what QEMU is and, and how it looks and if we can install on it or not. But uh, yes, we can, no problem. And these are the, the menus. But it will, let's say, never be uh, an, uh, a virtual machine that we use, well, all the time. It will be an, uh, a guy that we can use from time to time, but VirtualBox will stay our... Uh, everything is going slow now. Ah, okay, now everything is better again. Um, so it full the the virtual box will be our um, virtual machine that we use to test. Okay, so there you go. We have our system working. We can shut down. Okay, shut down, and there we are. Guest is not running. We can shut down here with quit or super Q, and we are back to square one. This is Qtile. Doesn't matter where you install this application on. It's just 
an application like Firefox and like uh, any other like GIMP, etc. You can install it on any Linux system, not just Arch, not just Arco. It's just a machine. It's just an application. All right. Enjoy.